On behalf of the Port of San Diego, welcome to our 10th Avenue Marine Terminal as we celebrate the completion of our modernization project. When we had the groundbreaking ceremony for this event in January of 2018, we had a lot more guests. Our working waterfront tenants were here, elected officials, and a lot of friends and supporters. We wish we could have them here with us again today because so many people have been so supportive of this important project over the years and we never would have made it this far without their support. We know they're here in spirit with us and working behind the scenes and thank them all for their support for during the, during the construction. This project had been years in the making and the port is truly grateful to the U.S. Department of Transportation for recognizing its importance and for awarding the port a $10 million Tiger Grant to get it done. It took them a little while because we had to try a few times, but we're very thankful that we ultimately got that award. Now to tell you more about the project, please welcome the Vice Chairman of the Board of Port Commissioners, Mike Zuckett. Good morning. Uh, Randa, thank you very much. Uh, honored to be here with you this morning. Uh, Dennis and Anthony, welcome and thank you for being with us. And of course, uh, San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, always an honor to be with you, sir. Uh, as Randa said, the completion of the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal Modernization Project is foundational to providing modern, open, and flexible space for cargo operations. We are the fourth largest port in the state of California, which of course is the fifth largest economy in the world. And so this project not only improves our cargo handling capacity and creates more jobs, but it also bolsters our designation as a strategic port in support of our national security efforts. Uh, this terminal caters to specialty cargo, uh, break bulk, refrigerated containers, bulk cargo, project cargo, uh, perhaps nothing more specialty than these windmill blades you see here, which are the longest uh, uh, blades we've ever uh, had here at the port. They're 67 meters long, uh, and as you see, and there's 45 of them, so as you stack them end to end, it's, uh, what, two or three football fields worth of uh, windmill blades, and this is something that would not have been possible before the modernization project. Um, the fact that we have so much more laydown space is what makes us able to accept these specialty uh, cargo shipments. These blades, by the way, came from China and they're headed to the Mojave Desert. Uh, we also have some windmill blades uh, on the terminal today from Italy, which are headed to Palm Springs. Uh, and this project this is an example of the type of project, um, this is the example of the type of cargo that the modernization project will help us bring more of. And we've seen proof of this even before the completion of the project, once we uh, announced uh, uh, the modernization project, we signed contracts with uh, G2 Ocean, which is one of the world's leading break bulk and bulk shipping companies. Uh, tomorrow, for instance, we also have a Vestal uh, coming from G2 that's going to be bringing us another shipment of Project Cargo. Another example would be the Mexican sugar company. Uh, Zuckermex, uh, they signed on as part of our long-term break bulk and project cargo strategy as well. So this was obviously a major public works project, $24 million uh, in local and federal investment. And as Randa said, uh, we're very appreciative of the port, uh, on behalf of the Port of San Diego uh, for the Tiger Grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation, because uh, that's what helped get this project started. The other $14 million came from uh, the Port of San Diego, which resulted in the combined budget of $24 million. Uh, this project did a lot of things. Mainly, it removed two obsolete uh, sheds, transportation sheds, uh, one of which was uh, here where we're standing today. As you can see the outline of the new asphalt, you can see how big those uh, sheds were and what removing those sheds does for the capacity uh, for this specialty cargo. Uh, we also, uh, the project also included improvements to on deck, pardon me, on dock rail, utilities, and new lighting and pavement. Uh, we did it um, also in uh, an exemplary stormwater treatment system um, where we're maximizing stormwater capture uh, on the marine terminal before, uh, before it heads into the bay. Uh, and along those lines, uh, this project not only 
is improving and increasing cargo cargo operations, which has impacts to the economy and jobs, but also uh, the port, as usual, took specific and significant steps to safeguard the environment. Uh, we worked with our partners to integrate innovative technologies such as zero and near zero emission freight equipment. Uh, we have and will continue to offer incentives to our tenants uh, at, at all the terminals to deploy clean vessels, trucks, and other equipment. Uh, and many of our tenants have already begun uh, initiating this. Uh, Terminal Lift and Dole behind us here have uh, significantly added the number of electrified trucks and other equipment before this project even started. Uh, I'd like to mention briefly that this project has received uh, a number of awards that we're proud of, including the Outstanding Airport and Port Project from the American Society of Civil Engineers, an award from the Construction Management Association of America for transportation projects, and Outstanding Industrial Stormwater BMP Implementation Project from the California Stormwater Quality Association. I uh, also wanted to acknowledge and, and beg your indulgence while we list a number of other partners who uh, have supported this project and who, without whom it would not be possible. Uh, beginning uh, first and foremost with the City of San Diego and its Mayor, uh, Kevin Faulkner, always a strong supporter uh, of the port, uh, uh, particularly as it relates to uh, commerce and cargo and maritime business. Uh, special thanks to the Environmental Health Coalition for their input and assistance as always on our projects here. Uh, thanks to the Maritime Administration and the Department of Transportation for recognizing the need for this project to do to, to move forward and of course for the Tiger Grant that got it started. Appreciate our neighbors and our adjacent communities next to the port who worked with us to minimize the impacts of the operations here uh, on those neighbors. Uh, Dennis, thank you very much uh, to the Working Waterfront Group for being champions of maritime. Uh, Anthony, thank you very much uh, to our longshoremen and women from ILWU, Local 29. Uh, thank you to the Port Tenants Association and especially our maritime tenants here at the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal. I'd like to thank the project's contractor, Dick Miller Incorporated. Um, and a special thanks to, to port staff, uh, uh, starting from the planning and green port development, pardon me, green port department, who worked tirelessly on the EIR that, that led to this project. Uh, thanks to the port's engineering and construction department for their hard work on this project's design and engineering. Uh, and finally, and especially to the maritime staff who ensured that the full operations of the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal were ongoing throughout this project. Uh, with minimal impact to existing tenants and customers um, and that also helped uh, maximize the completion of this project. So thank you to all who were involved from the beginning to the end uh, including the port staff who initially wrote that Tiger Grant um, and, and secured that. So all of you made that possible uh, today. Thank you and congratulations. As champions of innovation and overseers of San Diego's gateway to the world, the port takes great pride in taking the next step toward modernizing this terminal and advancing our role in the global economy. Thank you very much, and I'd like to bring up Randa one more time, who's going to introduce our mayor. Thank you very much, Vice Chair Zuket, and my clothes are blowing away. And uh, now, please uh, welcome our Honorable Mayor Kevin Faulkner. Uh, well, thank you very much, Randa. Thank you, Commissioner uh, Zuket. And I will tell you uh, that I'm very pleased to be here uh, today to really share this exciting uh, completion of this very important project, not just to the Port of San Diego, but to our entire region. Um, I think when many of us think about infrastructure, we think of streets, we think of uh, bridges, uh, but some of the most important and impactful infrastructure takes place right here at this port and along our beautiful waterfront. Um, locally, of course, we know this is our 10th Avenue Marine ter Terminal, and this $24 million investment is an investment that is going to pay off uh, time and time again for decades to come. Um, I will tell you, I think this project is absolutely the definition of forward thinking. It revitalizes an existing terminal to meet and exceed the region's trade needs, not just for today, but for tomorrow. And using the new technologies that you just heard about, this project helps will reduce wait times while boosting efficiency and security. Uh, and I think we're going to hear this in just a second. It also creates hundreds of new jobs 
providing a huge boost for the entire region's economy. I'm also glad that uh, Commissioner Zuket uh, mentioned how this project contributes to our climate goals to leave a cleaner and greener world for generations to come by, of course, reducing the air pollutants emitted, the recycling the materials from the previous structures that were here, and use, utilizing technology that targets zero uh, emissions. Um, by demolishing these two uh, sheds, and I remember when we were here just a couple of uh, years ago, it really opens the door for greater cargo options for this port for years and years to come. And I will tell you that when we have a strong, vibrant, and healthy port, that is good news to all of us, particularly as we are looking for opportunities as we get through this pandemic to keep San Diegans working. Uh, because of this project, San Diego can now move, move the large cargo, like we see these uh, enormous windmill blades uh, behind us, as they stop here briefly before they are on the way to the Mojave Desert to help with our state's renewable energy goals. Um, just a few years ago, we didn't have the space like this to accomplish this. That's why modernizing this terminal was so important. It strengthened San Diego's position as a very strategic port on the West Coast. And of course, it allows us to do everything we're doing with our partners at the United States Navy and all of our port tenants. So with so many uh, great benefits, I strongly believe this is a common sense project that as I said before, was forward thinking and will allow our port to continue its leadership role on the West Coast and that's something that every San Diegan should be very, very proud of. I, too, want to thank um, our CEO, Randa Coniglio, Commissioner Zuket. Thank you for you and all of the uh, Board of Port Commissioners. We're going to hear from Dennis Dubard in a second. Dennis, thank you for everybody at the Working Waterfront. Uh, our Local 29 President, who Anthony, you're going to hear from in just a second. Thank you to everybody, Anthony, Local 29, for working so hard and caring so much about our region. And, of course, we're also going to hear from our Rear Admiral uh, Busby as well. A true partnership in every sense of the word. Thank you for what all of you have made this happen. The 10th Avenue Marine Terminal is going to continue to be that strategic terminal for decades to come on the West Coast because of efforts like today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mayor Faulkner, and thank you for taking time out of your day to be here with us today. Um, next, we have a video from Rear Admiral Busby, who is the uh, Maritime Administrator for the U.S. Department of Transportation. We're sorry he couldn't be here with us today, but I think we're all getting used to um, seeing faces on video. So uh, let's go ahead and play that now. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations to the Port of San Diego on the completion of the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal Modernization Project. It was great to visit the port back in May of 2019 and see the work underway, thanks in part to the $10 million Tiger Grant from the Department of Transportation. It's even more gratifying to see that the work is completed now, though I wish I could actually be there to see it in person. This project is going to provide huge benefits to the port, for San Diego and the region, and for the economic and national security of the United States. You've now got a modern, open, and flexible space for cargo operations, created a laydown area for project cargo, such as wind turbine components, and made other necessary improvements to on-dock rail, utilities, lighting, and pavement. And you've done it while being a good neighbor to the community. Those of us who have spent some time on the waterfront know that it can be a rather industrial and sometimes hazardous place. You've made safety a priority and using advanced technologies, ensure that this new modernized port will operate with lower emissions. That's good news for all of us. The grant that helped make this possible is part of DOT's long commitment to investing in infrastructure, including maritime infrastructure. Port projects must be in the mix, right along with intermodal connectors such as road, rails, and bridges. Through responsible planning and collaboration, we've gotten more than our share of infrastructure grant money invested in maritime projects through both the build and infra programs and increased funding for our marine highways and small shipyard grant programs. 
Most recently, Marad now has its own port infrastructure development program to provide a dedicated stream of funds just for ports and related projects. We awarded more than $280 million of these grants earlier this year, and we have another $225 million on its way. That's good news for the maritime industry, for jobs, and for our economy. It's also a positive development because of the role that the Port of San Diego and the strategic ports play in our nation's defense. You know, when our troops get the call to deploy overseas, virtually everything they require travels by ship. I know San Diegans who are strong supporters of our military understand this critical role. The newly completed terminal space will play an important role in supporting the national defense emergency. Making sure this port and the other 15 strategic ports have access to the funding they need to efficiently move cargoes supports our military as well as our economy. This new enhanced focus is due to the attention of my boss, U.S. Secretary of Transportation, Elaine L. Chow has placed on maritime issues. We at MARAD have been able to do more for the U.S. maritime industry and ports because we know we have a champion in Secretary Chow. So on behalf of Secretary Chow and everyone here at DOT and MARAD, congratulations to the Port of San Diego on this wonderful milestone. Thank you. Again, sorry the Rear Admiral couldn't be with us today, but that was nice. Um, and now I'd like to welcome to the podium Dennis DeBard, co-chair of our Working Waterfront Group. Thanks, Randa. Mayor Faulkner, Vice Chair Gazuket, good to see you this morning. And thanks to Admiral Busby. I, I'll tell you, you won't find a, a bigger champion for the maritime industry and, and ports and the Jones Act than Admiral Buzz Busby. So thanks to the Admiral for uh, his remarks this morning. So it's another fantastic morning here in America's finest city. I'm excited to be talking about ships and maritime. On behalf of the thousands of men and women who call the working waterfront home, it's my honor to represent them this morning. A unique partnership exists between the Port of San Diego, the City of San Diego, the United States Navy, and the working waterfront. The presence of this ecosystem provides special value to the region and serves as a model for the rest of the nation. And speaking of that uh, ecosystem and the partnership with the United States Navy, I just have to make a big shout out to the USS Theodore Roosevelt, who's pulling in over at North Island. Uh, big shout out to the Rough Riders there. One of the 17 designated strategic home ports, the completion of the 10th Avenue modernization project is key to ensure that we can continue to support the efficient movement of goods and services. These goods and services that flow through this terminal help defend our nation and fuel our economy. The maritime industry here in San Diego has a long-standing and productive partnership with the port. The working waterfront with its shipyards, boatyards, and suppliers rely heavily on port operations and the materials as well as equipment that move through this port to maintain and grow our businesses. With the efficiencies that are now present on the terminal, it will provide the port customers the ability to receive oversized and non-containerized cargo this is especially important to the shipbuilders and maintainers along the waterfront. So everyone here this morning can be justifiably proud of the maritime industry. The work that is performed alongside the waterfront is important, and with this investment it's my hope that the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal remains at the forefront of maritime operations for decades to come. So on behalf of the working waterfront, I want to congratulate the commissioners, port staff, and all who work on this terminal for their service their dedication and their commitment. I think we make a pretty good team. So thanks again for the opportunity to be here this morning. I wish everyone fair winds the following seas. Thank you so much, Dennis, and thank you for always supporting our maritime operations. And, and now last but definitely not least, representing the hardworking men and women of the ILWU Local 29, its president, Anthony Soniga. Thank you, Randa. Vice Chair Zuket, Mayor Faulkner, thank you, Dennis. Well, it wasn't too long ago that we were all talking about this massive port project and envisioning the future of 10th Avenue Marine Terminal. And now, today, the table is set. New job opportunities are already lining up and knocking on our door. For Local 29, a new chapter has started, and we are all excited to see what the future 
brings as life seems to be pumped back into 10th Avenue Marine Terminal. But this could not have been achieved without the collaboration and efforts of like-minded people that seen the potential of this terminal. So I'd like to start by saying thank you to the Port of San Diego and its staff for pursuing the Tiger Grant and for investing in the future of the San Diego waterfront. I'd like to thank our Port Commissioners for recognizing the value of 10th Avenue Marine Terminal and for supporting this project. I also would like to like thank DMI Construction for all their hard work and for maintaining good safety measures throughout the process. Local 29 thanks you for that. Having a workplace that now allows us to handle all types of cargo without any obstacles in place gives us a fresh perspective on how efficient we can be at our jobs. Local 29 feels confident knowing now that there is an infrastructure in place that we can continue to grow into for generations ahead. Because as we all know, international trade is the heart of the maritime industry and the gateway to a global economy. So as we grow, so will our city and region. And as long as the ships keep coming in, the hook will never hang and production will never stop. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony, and thanks to all of our speakers. And now I'd like to invite you to pick up a pair of cartoon-sized scissors over here and join me for a ceremonial ribbon cutting in a socially distanced uh, version. And once we're finished with this, that will conclude our uh, ceremony. So congratulations, everyone, and thank you all for being here. Thank you.